Bethany Frankel, who is known as an American reality TV personality and entrepreneur, and probably most famous for being a shark investor on the ABC TV program Shark Tank, which began airing in 2009, has snagged some pretty luxurious real estate throughout New York. Bethany recently sold a pair of homes in Lower Manhattan and East Hampton, the former for $3.6 million, and a condo that featured nearly 2,400 square feet and boasted two bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. While the latter snatched up for $2.2 million and featured over 4,200 square feet and boasted seven bedrooms and bathrooms, her condo in Lower Manhattan was originally picked up five years ago for $4.2 million, so she took nearly a million dollar loss. Jesus Christ. In a matter of weeks, she was able to recoup some of the losses by coming out on top with 250 grand with her East Hampton sale. A beautiful home with a wide wraparound porch on the front and formerly a bed and breakfast known as the Morning Glory House. That's very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour you don't want to miss. Don't miss. It's a great house tour. Can't miss it. Don't miss it. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. The successful reality TV personality and entrepreneur has made quite the lucrative living, garnering a net worth of $70 million. She earned her net worth primarily from the sale of her Skinny Girl cocktail company and for her various stints on reality TV. Interestingly enough, Bethany initially had dreams of becoming an actress. I mean, didn't we all, Bethany? Franco moved to Los Angeles in 1992. She built up connections working small acting roles and jobs such as Nanny to Paris Hilton and personal assistant to Jerry and Linda Bruckheimer. Weirdest jobs I've ever heard. Like, how do you even just get those jobs? She leveraged these connections into her first company, an event planning business named In Any Event, although the business was short-lived. Franco started the company Bethany Bakes in 2003, offering healthy baked goods and meal delivery in New York City. It was featured on the reality competition series, The Apprentice, Martha Stewart in 2005, and she made it through the competition to become one of the finalists. Although the company went out of business in 2006, her stint on the reality competition show marked the beginning of Franco's career on reality shows. She was selected in 2008 as part of the cast for the reality show The Real Housewives of New York City. After leaving the show in September 2010, citing personal reasons, she returned to Real Housewives in 2014 following a three season absence. She once again left the show in August 2019, stating a desire to focus on her personal life. Franco earned the vast majority of her net worth as the founder and CEO of Skinny Girl Cocktails. Her company was launched several books and DVDs. However, the real break came when she sold her line of alcoholic beverages to Fortune Brands Beam Global in 2011. It was reported that Franco's Skinny Girl drink company was purchased for a whopping $120 million. However, that number is likely closer to $64 million. Still not too shabby. I mean, I'll take either or. Other products she has launched over the Skinny Girl brand include Skinny Girl Market Fresh Deli, a line of prepackaged lunch meat certified by the American Heart Association for containing lower levels of sodium and fat. Needless to say, Bethany is absolutely crushing it, which led to her impressive real estate portfolio. Her lower Manhattan condo was truly a thing of beauty, in fact, unique only to her apartment. Featured a balcony overlooking Broadway. Her other home in East Hampton was another masterpiece, a bed and breakfast turned into a lavish home. Like, can you just save some for the rest of us, Bethany? I'm begging you. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Warren Marlon Palmer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you guys aren't subscribed while watching right now. So please hit that subscribe button because we post new videos literally every day. Now we've previously reported on the homes of Tiger Woods and Jason Statham. So if you'd like to, please check out those videos. And if you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at that fly so we can chat some more. And let me know whose house tour to do next in the comment section below. Let's get into the video. Bethany's New York real estate love affair started with her Lower Manhattan dig, which was elegantly located on a quiet cobblestone block of Mercer Street in Soho's historic cast iron district. The stunning triple mint designer loft featured 2,300 square feet and boasted two bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. In addition, the home featured grand proportions and superb luxury finishes throughout. Upon entry, the home boasted a welcoming entry foyer, which led to a bright and spacious sunken great room. The room featured soaring 14 foot ceiling heights, enormous east facing double pane arch windows, and a wood burning fire place perfect for relaxation. Unique only to this apartment was a discreet balcony which overlooks Broadway, giving Bethany and company a small hideout for fresh air and relaxation. Steps Away features a state-of-the-art both app kitchen with Center Island which is open to the entertaining space. In addition, the Lux Kitchen features beautiful imported marble countertops, abundant storage space, and top-of-the-line appliances by Meal, Sub-Zero, and Wolf. Nearby, the home boasts a pantry utility room which also includes dual wine refrigerators for those that fancy a Chardonnay, of course. The home features 
features a long hallway, which is more than ideal for displaying Bethany's art collection and unique antiques, yet maximizes the use of space by providing a home office area with complete storage and custom built-ins. We're willing to bet Bethany locked in a few deals in that office. The impressive master bedroom suite is a nice little quiet sanctuary, which features a stunning custom built walk-in closet big enough to be another room in the house. The master suite is connected to a luxurious five fixture marble bathroom that features countertops with an abundance of space. In addition, the bathroom comes complete with a double vanity, deep soaking tub, and a glass enclosed steam rain shower. The enormous guest bedroom offers oversized custom closets and a contemporary ensuite bathroom decked out in marble tiling and a bold safari wallpaper. Both of these relaxing homes are illuminated by a wall of floor to ceiling glass windows that give the room bright life and an airy and roomy ambiance. In addition, the rooms are illuminated by an internal atrium that provides views of a custom landscaped green wall. Additional lux amenities include multi-zone central heating and cooling, a washer dryer, a stylish powder room for guests, and a custom home question system with sonos and speakers throughout. The dig features a grand private storage space and a beautifully landscaped roof terrace. In addition, the home is beautifully located close to New York's finest restaurants, cafes, world-class shopping, and all major transportation right at the doorstep. In a matter of weeks, Bethany went from two luxe New York homes to zero. In 2020, Bethany had sold her East Hampton home, which featured 4,200 square feet and boasted seven bedrooms and six bathrooms for $2.2 million. The spacious East End Victorian home featured a whole wraparound porch on the front and was formerly a bed and breakfast known as the Morning Glory House. It's very, very interesting name. The home was built in 1910 on nearly an acre of well-manicured grounds. Initially, the home had underwent a major renovation under the guidance of architects with purpose of updating all elements of the home and seamlessly merging the old and the new. In addition, with the help of a local builder, completed the elegant finishings to complete the look. This grand home is perfect for entertaining and features a formal entry hall, which sets the tone with dark hardwood floors illuminated by a skylight. The entry features a striking hand-carved staircase and board plank details. The home offered an abundance of luxe features, including an exercise room and a large heated swimming pool with sprawling blue stone patios. In addition, the home featured numerous alfresco dining areas. Keeping the Victorian style, this updated home features plenty of elegant paintings, classy artwork, and antiques in oversized windows that boast terrific beachside views. This Bridgehampton updated modernized traditional in the heart of the Hamptons is close to town shops and restaurants and beaches. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Bethany Frankel's home and those two houses she had in New York. After seeing that fancy little abode she snagged, what did you think? Was it everything you expect out of Bethany? Personally, I was a huge fan of that bed and breakfast home in the Hamptons. It's called Morning Glory. You can guess why I would be going there. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'll stop. How do you give up a discreet pad that used to be a bed and breakfast just like that though? Seriously. Out of Franco's features, which ones were your faves? You guys can go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. I'd love it if you guys follow me on Instagram at that dude fly so we can chat some more. And let us know whose house to do next in the comment section down below. See you guys next time.